it's about to be showtime. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. It's about to be showtime. The 2021 BEC Awards about to go down tonight. And I'm very excited excited about it. Hello? Baby. I'm no, I did not do the laundry. I did do because I'm excited. I was too excited because I'm hosting with Jay Fever tonight, baby. The BEC Awards. The, I tell you what, don't worry about it. I got a maid coming over to take care of the laundry. I love you. Talk to you later. Gosh. Oh, baby, it's showtime. I'm so excited about tonight. Let's go. Hello. Co host, BEC Awards. Who is this? Hello? Jay, what's good, baby? Yeah, I'm at the trade center right now. I can't get. What? Dude, that's right. We gotta do it virtual this year. Where you at? Tell me where you at. Har Harlem Studio. Harlem Studios. Yep, yeah, say no more, baby. I'm on my way. I might not be able to park, but I'm on my way. Oh, my God. Last year was so epic. Are you here, guys? Girl, come on. Come here. Oh, we're going to this one. Oh, Right now. But we don't buy our tickets. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta uh, when somebody leave, I'm gonna let somebody else in. Let me make sure they say something. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Host coming through. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm hosting. I gotta get through. All right. These folks, right? Really? Whoa, 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 little man. What are you doing? Look, listen, sir. I am one of the hosts tonight. All right. I'm hosting with Jay Fever. Check your paperwork. The Million Dollar Man. <laughs> like he don't know. No, I don't see no Million Dollar Man on here, homie. Now check check the spelling. It, it should be Million Dollar Man. One word, no R. Million Dollar Man. No, like I said, man, I don't, I don't see no Million Dollar Man. Listen, I got a host tonight, so I don't know to tell you. Excuse me. Excuse me, little man. You put your hands on my Giorgio suit that you just did, okay? Don't make me come up there. You don't want me to come. I done drove all the way to the Trade Center. I done drove all the way out here to Harlem Studios with nowhere to park. Don't make me come up there, all right? Be my guest, man, but you ain't getting in here tonight, man. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Jack, you done saved your... You done saved your... Hey, Steve. What's up, man? How you... What's up with you, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, man? Yeah, all right. Yeah, man. Well, you know how we do, man. Yeah, sir. You know what time it is. You VIP, baby. Thank you, man. Hey, this is the... VIP. He was one of Million Dollar Man. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, co-hosting. Oh, he was yeah. keeping it real. Okay, yeah, Million Dollar Man, all right. Yeah. Man, I, you know what, man? He almost got... made me step down off my pedestal. That's what he almost man, did, let's, let's, G. Let's squash it, man. Step down. Step, 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 down. step down. It's little man, little, and man. you just step down? Bro, just dap it up, man. I'm just, no. got a show to do, Let man. me get to work. Let me get to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on with it. It's the 2021 BEC Awards. Let's get it. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Jay Fever. I'm blessed to be the host of the second annual BEC Awards here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The BEC celebrates achievements and accomplishments of local black businesses here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Many of you know me from hosting some of the biggest and baddest dance competitions that our nation has seen. But tonight, I'm tasked with hosting the number one question in our city in which school runs our city? Well. I've enlisted the services of major choreographer, Mr. Ryan Roberts from Velocity Dance Center to help me answer that lifelong question. But the thing is, he can't talk. So we have to see which school keeps up with him the best to finally, once and for all, settle which team runs the city. You ready? Let's get it. Let's go. This is how Introducing it is. our first school, Riverside.
Introducing the next team stepping up to the plate, Kirkman Technical High School. Hey. Now walk it out. Now walk it out. Now walk it out. Now walk it out. DJ. Now walk it out. DJ walk it out. DJ walk it out. DJ walk it out. 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 Now 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 walk it
brought the swab with me. Black on black bandanas, I say it's champagne. I did the damn thing. You did Diana, singing and dancing all in the rain. Ooh, 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 I just wanna have a good time. Turn around, get inside. Swirl yourself to the right. Step on them, kick on them, something you step Swag the right, serve the left Work the middle till it hurt a little Thomas with Nora Media. Hi, my name is Nene Evans. And I'm with Shannon McConnell. And Chattanooga Business Elite now has its own merch store, and we want to see you in it. So please head over to our website at chatbusinesselite.com. We got t shirts, we got our sweatshirts. And we also have masks and other apparel. So head over to our website and make your purchase now. President Suevo is in a meeting. Please hold. Let's hear these new ideas. What about car loans? We do that. OK, loans are for our home. You're a genius. We could put money back into our community instead of keeping it for ourselves. We do that too. Champion Christian Learning Academy is a child care center providing quality child care for children ages 6 weeks to 5 years old. We focus on creative curriculum that allows for math, literacy, and science skills to be taught through engagement, class projects, student-led activities, and circle time. CCLA opened in 2017 with just three students, but today we have 95 students enrolled. Our teaching staff is very passionate about planning days full of activities, games, projects, and learning fun. We also believe in allowing children to learn through music, movement, and other physical activities. There's so much research that supports that coordination, balance, and rhythm all enhance the learning experience. We partner with several independent contractors for these things because these activities prove to develop teamwork, confidence, trial and error skills, and self-esteem. We take pride in providing these services for the students at CCLA because we see the difference that it makes in the classroom. CCLA is a place where learning happens every day at every stage. My name is Kendall Peterson. I am the owner of Offerway. We are a home solutions company that can help a lot of homeowners that may have a distressed property. So if you've got a home that you may have inherited, going through back taxes, pre-foreclosure, we're able to help with a lot of those situations. We do have a referral program as well. Uh, so any homes that you guys refer to us that we are able to buy and meet the criteria, uh, we do give a $1,000 referral fee. My Style of Travel is a full-service travel concierge specializing in creating luxury experiences around the globe. The owner, Michelle Styles McCowan, has been an avid traveler for over 20 years, and it is the experience through her own travels that she brings to the table. Whether you are a first-time traveler or a seasoned world globetrotter, if you can envision it, our team can execute it. My Style of Travel is invested in our client's journey, ensuring satisfaction and making certain every trip is filled with positive, lifelong memories. This joint right here, it makes me wanna It's 2N Boutique, location 1313 Dodge Avenue. We have all sizes, small to 3X, sexy size. We cater to all your fashionable needs. You also have a personal stylist on location. That's why we're second to none. It's been a long week. Good evening. I'm your host, Johnny Harrington, also known as my stage name, Jay Fever. Born and raised here in Chattanooga, it's my honor to be your host tonight. We welcome you to the second annual BEC Awards. Tonight, we celebrate the epitome of black excellence. In 2020, we faced a global pandemic, 
here locally, the devastating effects of a tornado. In spite of these economic hardships, unforeseen challenges and shutdowns, these businesses rose to the top. The individuals and those businesses that we celebrate tonight are once again the epitome of black excellence. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Tonight, we celebrate the BEC. Let's get it. Let's go. Hi, I'm Jocelyn Foster, and I'm here to present for Best Accountant. From January 1st to April 15th, these nominees are in high demand. All year long, they work real hard to make sure that your 401ks, finances, and other accounting needs are met. Here are the nominees for Best Accountant. Best Accountant, Danielle Tucson, Bernard Harris, Quinetta Caldwell, LaToya Bonner, and the winner is LaToya Bonner. First of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank my family, my wonderful husband, my super supportive kids for just sharing me with so many people. Um, it gets hard in this line of work a lot of times, but I really want to thank them for their um, support and for their constant encouragement. I want to thank Chattanooga for voting for me. Um, it's such an honor and a privilege to serve you all. And I also want to thank CBE for the opportunity um, to just celebrate so many wonderful entrepreneurs in the city of Chattanooga. Thank you. God is the author and the creator of them all. But today we would like to highlight the authors here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Whether it's a thriller, romance, comedy, these are the nominees for best author for the BEC Awards. Best Author, Amber Woodruff, Beatrice Conley, Angela Davis, Joe Martin, Marcus Rogers. And the winner is Angela Davis. Hello, Chattanooga. I am honored to receive the award for Best Author. Thank you for voting for me. Thank you to my family and friends for motivating and encouraging me. Thanks to God for giving me the craft as well. Lastly, thanks to CBE for highlighting the work of everyone involved. Thanks again to everyone. See you next year. My name is Aaron Thomas, the owner of Nora Media. Purchasing a vehicle can be one of the toughest decisions that you will make, but finding a trustworthy car salesman can be an even tougher one. This next group of individuals are people who you can count on when you go to buy your next vehicle. The nominees are... Best Car Salesman, Roger Ruffin, Robert Sharp, Elliot Davis, Brandon Atkins, Marquita Jones, Solomon Williams. And the winner is... Marquita Jones. I am humbled and honored for this nomination. Thank you Chattanooga Business Elite for recognizing top talent in our community. I'm thankful to God for his favor and all that he does in my life. I'm also thankful for my parents, my brother, and my friends as they support me in all that I do. I'm thankful for my team at um, Capital Toyota, Lexus of Chattanooga, as I know that teamwork makes the dream work. And most importantly, I'm thankful for my kids, Decorian and Brayden, as they motivate me in all I do. Thank you for your continued support and for this award. Good evening, I'm Brandi Cassius of Black Girl Chad, and I'll be presenting the Community Spotlight Award. As a transplant to the city, one of the things that made me fall in love with the Chattanooga community was the willingness of people here to look past themselves and give themselves to those who need it most. These incredible individuals often do things like organize school supply drives and food pantries without looking for any applause or acknowledgement for the impact they make on those around them. Today I'm honored to give one of those people their flowers. Here are the nominees. Community Spotlight Award. Ladarius Price, Adopt a Senior Chattanooga, Kiosha Brewster, Melissa Graham, Troy Rogers, YB Normal, Dr. Brian Johnson, Sharon Kelly, Kia Ruffin, 
Karen Lynn McReynolds, Cameron Williams and Marie Mott. Rock the block. And the winner is... Ladarius Price. I want to start off by saying thank you to the wonderful committee, the squad, the group of CBE. Thank you so much for creating this great platform uh, for professionals in the city of Chattanooga that are working hard day in and day out, uh, doing all of the great work that we're doing throughout this city, a lot of times going unrecognized. But thank you all for creating this platform uh, that we can be elevated on and honored on. I also want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for without him I am nothing. Uh, I want to thank my wife Dominique and my five kids. Uh, they support me in everything that I do, uh, all of my outreach endeavors. Uh, they allow me to go out, they share me with the world, so I just want to say thank you to my wife so much uh, just for, for allowing me to go out and do the work that I do without being on my back and without hassling me and things of that nature. Uh, this award I want to dedicate to my mentor, my friend, my brother, uh, individual who has transitioned on, Mr. Chris Ramsey, uh, who was honored on last year uh, with the Lifetime Achievement for all the great things that he's done in our community. Without him, there is no Ladarius Price. Uh, he's taught me so much. He poured into me day in and day out. And I just, I can't thank him enough. I'm a part of his legacy uh, as well as so many others. So big guy, I know you're looking down. I know you're watching. This is for you. Thank you. My name is Cynthia Evans and I am the owner and director of Champion Christian Learning Academy. I am here to present the award for Best Contractor. From complete build outs to building houses to small renovations, everyone can appreciate someone that works well with their hands. And the nominees are... Best Contractor. Calvin Smith, Calvin's Home Fixology. Donzel Ward, Ward Construction. Stephen Hewlett, Hewlett Concrete Construction. Daryl Martin, Martin and Martin Corporation. Ben Peterson, Nice Homes. And the winner is Daryl Martin, Martin and Martin Corporation. I would like to thank the Chattanooga Business Elite for hosting this event. I would also like to thank all those who voted for me, the ones who nominated me, um, all of my customers, and everybody that supported me. Accepting the Best Contractor Award means a lot to me and my family being that this is our first year in business. We believe in offering education, sustainability, dependable employment, and just giving our community the ability to put back into their own community will be an essential growth to the city of Chattanooga. Big or small, home improvement, just call 423-212-3356. Hello, my name is Michelle McCowan and I'm the owner of My Style of Travel. I'm here to present the award for the best dentist. Some people say that your smile is your best accessory, and if that's the case, then you can reach out to one of the following nominees. And the nominees are... Best Dentist, Dr. Rump, Aspire Dentistry. Dr. Robert Clark, Greater Brainerd Dental. Dr. Latasha Garrett, Adventure Pediatric Dental. Dr. Kutsai Chikwava. Beautiful Spiles by Design Dentistry. And the winner is... Dr. Robert Clark. Thank you, Chattanooga, for 45 years of letting me provide dental services to this community. On behalf of my staff and myself, uh, one of my staff members, Sonia Sims, has been with me a long time. We would like to humbly accept the award for being the best dental team in the Chattanooga area. I also would like to have a shout out to Chattanooga Business Elite for all that they do and for having the entrepreneurial spirit ship. Thank you very much, Chattanooga. Hello, my name is Prince Austin, and I'm your presenter for Best Doctor. Physicians hold a category of their own because they are well deserving. Physicians work long, hard hours to ensure proper treatment of their patients, care of their patients, and make sure they're well taken care of. Physicians not only take care of their patients, they are dedicated to continuing education, hands-on skills, and proper training to make sure their patients stay safe in their care. I have worked amongst the best, and I salute each one of you. And the nominees are... Best Doctor, 
Dr. Yolanda Spragans, Dr. John Adams, Dr. Angela Slack, Dr. Willie Mae Hubbard, Dr. Shavonda Shiro. And the winner is Dr. Yolanda Spragans. Thank you so much, Chattanooga, for this wonderful honor. I'm grateful to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for the opportunity to serve him um, every day in my profession. Thank you to my husband, Jeffrey, and my son, Thomas, for your love and support. Thank you to my family and friends. And again, thank you, Chattanooga, for giving me this great honor. And also, thanks to the BEC committee for your work in the community and bringing us together. Thanks again. Hi, my name is Michael Williams, and I am honored to present the award for Best Engineer. Engineers work hard every day applying the principles of science and mathematics. From analyzing to problem solving, it takes a special person to do what they do. A smart person to do what they do. A meticulous person to do what they do. Well, you get the point. So here are the nominees for Best Engineer. Best Engineer, Terrence Higgins, Sean Evans, DeJim Lowe, Carita Wallace. And the winner is Terrence Higgins. Unfortunately, our winner was not able to appear here tonight, so I will be accepting this award in their honor. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jalen Sims. COVID-19 has had many negative effects in the world of finance, where roughly over 1 million Americans have filed for unemployment, causing the United States to transition into a deeper state of economic disobedience. But as we rely on professional notions from financial advisors, we soon realize that in times like this, the only thing we can do is thank them. Here's the nominations for Best Financial Advisor. Best Financial Advisor, James Brown, Patrick Donaldson, Ivan Brown, LeBron and Marshawn Hartnett. And the winner is... LeBron and Marshawn Hartnett. We would like to thank the BEC for this wonderful organization and we would like to thank you all for our, your nominations and thank those um, individuals that have been nominated along in the same category with us and we uh, are honored to serve our community in this capacity. We would like to take a moment to recognize one of our amazing sponsors who are responsible for making this show possible tonight. Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything you've done in Chattanooga area. And we would like to especially acknowledge Mr. Marcus K. Johnson. Thank you for coming through during the pandemic for small business owners like myself and others. Thank you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a moment to support these local black owned businesses. Four to three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Built it from my pedigree. Four to three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Yeah. Four to three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Built it from my pedigree. Four to three, my legacy. As president for a day, local musician Suavo thought he would drive the fanciest car and play a lot of golf, but he didn't. There were a lot of meetings about mortgages and spreadsheets about car loans. Because at TVFCU, we don't put your money into the pockets of our executives. We put it into the community and into artists like Suevo.
take a second to thank our sponsors, the Benwood Foundation, the Chattanooga News Chronicle, and the Enterprise Center. Hi, I'm Jaquar McMickle. I'm presenting the Best Insurance Agent Award. Insurance agents have the important role of both educating and servicing the community. As we accumulate more assets in our life and experience life along the way, we begin to realize the importance of protecting those assets. Insurance agents help guide us through our search to protect the things we love, our homes, our families, our lives. And the nominees are... Best Insurance Agent, Stephanie Sinkfield, Patrick Donaldson, Dahl Sandridge, Dorothy Grisham, Chris Ramsey. And the winner is... Chris Ramsey. Good evening. My name is Lucretia Ramsey, and on behalf of my husband, Chris Ramsey Sr., I would like to accept this award, Best Insurance Agent of the Year. I would like to thank everyone that voted for Chris. Chris would have been so excited to win this award. He wanted his clients to feel like family and receive the best services available. Again, thank you for voting for Chris and honoring him with this award. My name is Naomi Ortiz, and I have the privilege of presenting to you the category of lawyers. They're a great advocate for our community and role models. Um, the nominees are... Best Attorney, Amanda Jelks, Janika Everhart, Carmen Ware, Keisha Cheeks. And the winner is... Janika Everhart. Hi, BEC Awards. My name is Attorney Janika Everhart, and I am so excited to have been nominated and to be voted the best attorney in Chattanooga. I would first like to thank God for giving me the ability. The Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I thank God for giving me the ability to commute to Nashville School of Law and also the ability to pass the bar exam. I also want to shout out my support team in my village. I thank you to everyone in Chattanooga and surrounding counties that voted for me, and thank you all for all of your support to Jeter Law Office, PLLC. I would like to leave you with this. If there's any non-traditional student or any adult that had to work before going to law school, please know that the sky is never the limit. You can shoot for outer space. Bye-bye for now. My name is Prince Austin, and I am your presenter for the Best Nurse Practitioner nominee. I have worked amongst the best nurse practitioners, and I can truly say that I vouch their work, especially these ladies that have made the list. A nurse practitioner is an advanced registered nurse with mid-level type training, which makes them a mid-level type practitioner. They have the ability to diagnose patients, treat them, prescribe, formulate, and interpret medical diagnostics and testing. They are truly the backbone of our healthcare field. And the nominees are Best Nurse Practitioner, Michelle Morris, April Taylor, Charity Black, Denise O'Neill, Talundria Shea Hinton. And the winner is April Taylor. For weeks I've contemplated what I wanted to say and who I wanted to thank. Today I come thanking each and every one of my patients that entrusted me with their health care needs. I come thanking my family and my friends for pushing me to chase my dreams. I want to thank Chattanooga Business Elite for providing a platform to celebrate people who look like me. And most all, I want to thank my Heavenly Father for providing me with purpose and promise. Thank you. I'm Brianna Garza, and I'm presenting the BEC Award for the Best Realtor. If you found your home here, you likely use one of these nominees. The nominees are... Best Realtor. Melanie Brooks Settles, Siandra Williams, Latoya Watkins, Crystal Wiles, Lashana Dillard, Tanisha Irvin. And the winner is Tanisha Irvin. 
Chattanooga, thank you so much for voting me Best Realtor for the 2021 BEC Awards. I do not take it lightly, and I thank each and every one of you for taking the time to cast a vote for Tanisha Irvin, your Chattanooga Realtor. I give special thanks to my husband, Jock Irvin, who has always believed in me and always pushes me to be great. Special thanks also to my daughter and son, Jalen and Jaden. Thank you guys so much for sharing mommy with all of her clients and customers. And last but not least, I give all glory and honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because without him, none of this would be possible. He's blessed me with an opportunity to have an amazing career serving people, empowering, educating, and advocating for my clients to become homeowners and real estate investors. Thank you so much. Your Chattanooga Realtor, Tanisha Irvin. Hi, my name is Mary Lisa Wickfall, and I'm here to present for the best therapist. We're living in a time we've never lived in before. Life is stressful among the pandemic and we all need someone who we can look to to see us through this season. And the nominees are... Best Therapist or Counselor, Joy Montgomery, April Taylor, Michelle Pinkerton, Rosetta Greer, Jashari White. And the winner is... Joy Montgomery. Okay, hey, I won. Thank you guys so much for voting for me. I'm so excited to have won this category. It has been an honor to be placed in the same category with people like April Taylor and Michelle Pinkerton. They have offered me guidance along the way. I talk to these ladies on a weekly basis, along with the other amazing women that's in this category. We can all reduce the stigma of therapy in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I hope that you see that you have people here that you can talk to that looks like you, that can help you along your mental health journey. So again, I want to thank you so much. And I'm grateful that God has placed this passion on my life and I'm able to fulfill his purpose for my life. Thank you again so much. Hi, I'm Khadija McNeely and I'm with Millennial Nail Bar. I will be presenting to you your top business execs. When I think about a business executive, I think about people like Melissa Butler, P. Diddy, Erlen Hamilton, these people are who I view as your best businesses at. But this next category is for the city of Chattanooga. And your nominees are... Best Top Business Executive, Takora Johnson, Valerie Armstrong, Keith Landecker, Vicki Geitz, Wade Hinton, Ken Jones, Chester Lee Clear. And the winner is Ken Jones. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank God, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Without him, I am nothing. Um, it really gives me the edge to do all the things that I do. Secondly, Chattanooga Business Elite, you all are top notch. And thank you for looking at the city of Chattanooga and looking at so much of our black talent that's in the city of Chattanooga and highlighting them. That's just an absolutely amazing accomplishment for you all. I want to thank the city of Chattanooga. Um, without you all, then there's nothing for us to do. So we appreciate you all and all the input that you have in our community. Um, I, I really enjoy being a part of our community and making the impact that I get the opportunity to make every day. I tell everybody, um, stay focused on what you need to, enjoy the process while you make your progress. I really, really want to take this opportunity. This is just perfect timing for me to thank my mom. My mom was a teenage mother raising two boys and um, I watched her every day get out there and get at it. Um, she was resilient, she was dedicated, she was passionate. She overcame all kinds of obstacles to make sure me and my brother had everything we needed in life, and I want to thank her. And this award goes to her because I learned all of my work ethic for her. Uh, Mom, you're retiring in March. God bless you. Can't wait to be able to take care of you like you took care of me and my brother. Thank you. Coming up next, we have a performance in spoken word. Then we have Chattanooga's own Mr. Edwards with Black History Facts. We also have a scholarship presentation. And a wonderful R&B performance coming up next. Proverbs 1821, life and death are in the power of the tongue. Words, words are used to create and words are used to destroy. Well tonight, we have an amazing spoken word by Miss Erica Roberts. 
speaking to the ancestors, realizing that they require the best of us, speaking to the ancients, realizing where our place is, seeking refuge. We refuse to be a victim for. We require greatness. We require respect. We fight the jungle of racism to find a safe haven for. We are free thinkers. We are way makers. We are positive melanin beings. We are pushing through heavy doors, knowing that the ceiling can't hold us. Fighting discrimination, we won't fold. No, we'll just continue building and continue informing. We educationally bend the racist corners with the lean and the ease of a panther. For we are gathering in the mental Wakanda for we are the vibranium, yo. We are the seekers, yo. We are next. We drip the universal constellations from our exhausted brows, y'all. We've got the stars in our eyes and the clouds are forever on our backs. And there is no slacking. We are GPSing our success and we're locking it in and down for we wear those crowns following the steps of our ancestors, walking in our greatness, knowing that this is nothing short than black excellence. We want to take this opportunity to thank our next sponsor who gave us the nickname Gig City, EPB. Thank you for everything you guys have done in this city and thank you for being innovative and staying ahead of the curve with fiber optics. I'm Wade Hinton, a son of the West Side. I left Chattanooga for law school but I came back to give back, to this community that always believed in me, to support progressive ideas to move us forward. I worked in business to create more diversity, in our community to create more opportunity, and as Chattanooga City Attorney to create more equality. I believe in a Chattanooga we can all believe in, and I'm asking you once again to believe in me. I'm Wade Hinton, Democrat for me, and I'm ready to lead on day one. I'm Monty Brule, and I want to be your mayor. Let's govern from the people up, not the privileged down. I will provide free public transit, good paying jobs, and a world-class parks and rec department. Let's work together to build the bridge to our future. Go to MontyBrule.com to contribute, volunteer, and spread the word. We are Chattanooga. Imagine what we can do together. Firefighters know the value of calm in a crisis. Crisis management experience is one reason the firefighters strongly endorse Tim Kelly for mayor. Chattanooga's next mayor has to be ready to handle economic, public health, and public safety crisis. And over 100 business and community leaders have endorsed Tim Kelly. He has a plan for the first 100 days as mayor. Haven't made up your mind yet for mayor? Give Tim Kelly a look. He's ready to lead on day one. Tim Kelly. Chattanooga, vote for me, Dr. Eleanor Woods, as your next mayor. And this is why. So you can have a seat at the table, support small businesses, equity and fairness for our contractors, adequate funding for childhood education, the arts and recreation, end homelessness in the chokehold, and create a task force for criminal justice reform and mental health. So go vote now. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a moment to support these local black-owned businesses. Four, two, three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Built different, my pedigree. Four, two, three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Yeah. Four, two, three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Built different, my pedigree. Four, two, three, my legacy. Welcome to the CHA Spotlight. If you go to our website at visitchattanooga.com, we'll keep you updated on all things culture, heritage, and arts here in Chattanooga. From live music to visual and performing arts to the history of our beautiful city, it's about finding more ways to experience Chattanooga. This edition of the CHA Spotlight features some of Chattanooga's African-American history that's not only left an imprint on the city, but in the world. 
In the 1960s, during the Civil Rights Movement, there were some courageous students from Howard High School. These were the first high school students in the nation that led and organized a sit-in. Check out these cool places to commemorate all the great things they did. Have you ever stopped to read this historical marker about G.W. Franklin? He was amazing. He became one of the most prominent black business owners in the city. But it didn't stop with him. The Franklin legacy continues to this day. This is Martin Luther King Boulevard, also known as 9th Street or the Big Nine. Back in the day, jazz and blues musicians performed to rapt audiences. Today, the street is a great mix of old and new with some of the city's most amazing murals and local businesses. It's all right to have a good time. It's sung by the legendary Impressions, and a few of the members are natives of Chattanooga. Check out the Tennessee Music Pathways marker right here on MLK. One of the oldest black-owned businesses is still serving hungry customers right here after more than 50 years. If you haven't had a chopped wiener plate for Mimos, you're missing out. Bessie Smith was known as the Empress of the Blues. In the 1920s and 30s, she was the biggest jazz singer and blues singer of her time and was raised right here in this area, Blue Goose Hollow. The cool thing is, in a couple of months, several organizations will work together to create an awesome sculpture to commemorate her life. And then, if you want to stop by, the Bessie Smith Cultural Center is named after her in her honor. Check out the CHA Spotlight at visitchattanooga.com. In today's present climate and the influx of internet businesses and web-based businesses, the traditional brick and mortar can often be overlooked. But these businesses prove that with a little ingenuity, perseverance, and resilience, you can continue to thrive as you provide quality service and products that are beneficial to the community. These are your nominees for the best brick and mortar. Best brick and mortar. Sweet cream ice cream. Roots hair and beauty. V Francis. All good coffee shop. State Farm, Sinkville Agency. Ben and Jerry's. Taylor Funeral Home. John P. Franklin Funeral Home, Chattanooga Cigar Bar. And the winner is? Roots Hair and Beauty. Hello, everyone. Uh, we are very excited to say we have won a second award from the BEC Awards. This time, Roots has won the brick and mortar, and we're very proud, very happy to take this award. Thank you to everyone who has voted for us, but I want to say thank you to God, our customers, and our Roots team, and especially the BEC Awards. Thank you all. We are very, very excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, I'm Denise Day. We all know that keeping a clean car is a chore. These nominees not only do our unwanted tasks, but they keep us riding in style. The nominees for Best Car Detailing is Best Car Detailing and Car Wash Jonathan Sims, Johnny on the Spot Michael Nelson, Five Star Perfection Chad Pratt, Dirt Bully Jarrell Manghain Seat Jesus Shaquille Holland, Shaq Mobile Detailing Marcus Price, Chosen Tony Owens Superior Hand Car Wash. And the winner is Tony Owens, Superior Hand Car Wash. I'd like to say thank you for everybody that out there that uh, voted for me. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to uh, my mama, uh, Lee. Uh, another shout out to my boy Tank Sparks. Uh, me and him started working together at uh, Lexus of Chattanooga and we started this thing together. So, man, I'd like to uh, accept this award for him. Thanks. If you've ever had to plan an event, whether it was a romantic dinner for two or a celebratory party for 200, you know that a lot goes into that. From picking the perfect venue to making sure that it's the right season, having immaculate decor, and making sure that the music is on point so that the mood stays all night. You know that those are just a few things that are on the endless list of things 
that come with planning. But really what the guests want to know is what's on the menu. Here are the nominees for best catering. Best caterer, Cheryl Swafford, Mama Red Cooks, Terrence Locke, Chef Express, Sade Terry, Charming Eats, Brandon Ellis, Chatterbox, Brittany Crawford, Marie's Intimate Catering, Antonio Tate, Party Bites, Pat Rowe, Barbecue Row, Moss's Place, Lamont's Catering. And the winner is Chef Express. I want to give a shout out to all of our supporters who's been rocking with us for the last five years and we got more years to come. I want to give a shout out to my family, my friends, and everybody who's been my backbone throughout my business. Special shout out to my mom, my son, and my girlfriend, Adacia. Peace. Good evening, my name is Adacia McGill. At times when we're too busy, tired, or with the chaos of COVID-19, these detail-oriented professionals show up for us when we are not able to do the job. They are respected in the community and an essential to our well-being. Here are the nominees for Best Cleaning Service. Best Cleaning Company. Tony Oliver, TNT Cleaning, LLC. Rakia Williams. She Smiles Cleaning Service. Lakeisha Avery, Sister to Sister Cleaning Service. Sharon Green, The Professional Cleaning Solution. Velma Wilson, Absolute Cleaning. Nicole Mabry, Queen of Clean. And the winner is? She Smiles Cleaning Service. I would like to thank God for allowing me to start my own cleaning business. I would like to thank my family and friends for supporting me along this endeavor. I would like to thank all of my clients for the love and the support that they give me. I would like to also thank the Chattanooga Black Excellence for allowing women like me to feel special and appreciated. Last but not least, I would also like to thank my amazing husband that loves and supports me and pushes me along this journey. Thank you. Hi, I'm David Cawthon. I'll be presenting the award for best coach. To be a great coach, you must be equal parts master motivator, father figure, or second mom, and also have high basketball or football IQ. These nominees exemplify these qualities and then some. And the nominees are? Best coach. E.J. Ward, James Talley, Tyrus Ward, Stephen Cook, Gary Long, Courtney McDuffie, Regina Kirk. And the winner is E.J. Ward. Hey Chattanooga, I am humbled and honored to be nominated as the best coach 2020. Um, I want to give a special shout out to those who coordinated this event. This has been a wonderful experience to be a part of. Um, I want to thank my family, my friends, and those who voted for me for the second year around. And very thankful for those who support me along the way. Go Rams. Hi, my name is Erica Denise, and I'm here presenting the award for Best Dance Studio. Now, dance is the universal language for awesomeness, from pop and lock, to a little ballroom and salsa. Well, these dance studios have it all. Moves like Jagger and all the swagger. And the nominees are Best Dance Studio, D. Williams Dance Academy, Ladies of Excellence, Velocity Dance Center, Silver Slippers, Royal Envy, Chattanooga Choo Choo's. And the winner is Ladies of Excellence. Hi, Chattanooga. Thank you so much for choosing Ladies of Excellence as your best dance studio. We are thrilled that you chose us after 10 years of service to the community. I would like to give a special thank you to my parents, my family, friends, and especially to you, Chattanooga, for the continued support. Well, on behalf of the uh, Chattanooga News Chronicle, uh, uh, we're glad to be one of the sponsors of the Chattanooga Business Elite. Uh, actually, Chattanooga has a uh, 
a wonderful history uh, in the African American community as far as the uh, businesses are concerned. Uh, actually, if we go all the way back to the Civil War, uh, African Americans who fought here in the Civil War, uh, many of them were not allowed to fight, so they worked in the uh, Union Commissary downtown. And the Union Commissary, they learned business principles. So after the war in 1865, you know, they were uh, using their business principles they learned in the commissary to start businesses all up and down Market Street, uh, Main Street, and uh, 9th Street, the Big Nine. Uh, so uh, the relationships that they uh, had with the Union Army was unique because they were allowed to vote early and, and uh, because, you know, the, the Union had to stay in power and so the con to be in control of the Confederates who were now uh, had lost the war. They needed the black vote to kind of stay in control. So blacks uh, went to work in the uh, uh, industries that they started along the river, and this became one of the, uh, the eighth largest industrial city uh, in, the, in the United States, and that's unique to uh, the South. I uh, was born in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, uh, my roots as far as the civil rights move movement began in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, my, my father was a youth pastor at First Baptist Church, Capitol Hill, where the Reverend Kelly Miller Smith was the pastor. Reverend Kelly Miller Smith was the, probably the main civil rights leader in Nashville, and John Lewis and uh, people like C.T. Vivian uh, fell under him. Uh, they, they were his lieutenants. But uh, you know that the late John Lewis was head at the Nashville City-Ins. I was 12 years old when I was allowed to get involved in the Nashville City-Ins with John Lewis and C.T. Vivian and the other people who became, you know, uh, 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 Diane Nash, who is considered the queen of civil rights movement. Uh, uh, they used to look after me because I was so young and uh, I, I I was allowed to participate because I grew up in that church where my dad was youth minister. So uh, that became one of the most successful uh, sit-ins uh, in the United States. That's what propelled John Lewis into the limelight. And he was attending Fish University and also the Baptist Theological Seminary where uh, my father att attended, uh, uh, graduated from. This was a... a uh, 69 front page, uh, 1969, when my father's house was firebombed uh, because he had uh, he had opened uh, he had integrated uh, segregated housing here. He uh, almost single-handedly integrated a Langer Hospital when it was segregated, uh, and he brought the, he took the first black family into Boone High Singer, which is Harriet Tubman now. Uh, when we first moved here, it was an all-white uh, project. But he took the first family in there and, uh, you know, he burned a cross in the yard. Uh, but he was uh, uh, very serious about uh, civil rights. And, of course, he was targeted and, you know, uh, talked about in the, in the newspaper. Uh, this, you know, people, again, uh, he, uh, people don't really talk about him today. But he was one of the early uh, uh, civil rights people. Good evening. My name is Kevin Love. And my name is Shay McCowan. Uh, we want to thank you guys for watching the show so far. And we also want to thank all of our sponsors that sponsored this event, especially our presenting sponsor, Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union. Yes, an electric power board right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The Enterprise Center. Finwood Foundation. And the Chattanooga News Chronicle. Simpa Community Care. Without your sponsorship, this show wouldn't have happened. On the behalf of the CBE board, we want to thank you. Yes, we appreciate you all, and we hope you all enjoy the show. Hello, my name is LaShanna McConnell, and I am here to present to you the Best Daycare Award. Being a parent is very vital that we place our children in a facility that is safe and comforting for our children. With no further ado, the nominees are Best Daycare, Champion Christian Learning Academy, Tiny Tigers Learning Center, Serenity Daycare, Little Dreamers Daycare. Tiny Tada Daycare. Kids Corner. And the winner is Serenity Daycare.
I would like to thank the BEC for allowing me to be nominated for this precious award. My journey started 20 years ago at 3464 Huffaker Street, where I used to teach kids on my front porch about the Bible. At that time, I knew I wanted to protect and serve children. Black women stand tall, stay empowered, just know that we just elected our first black vice president. Women, we could do anything. Be strong, women, men. If we can't pick each other up, do not tear each other down. I would like to end my speech with my favorite scripture, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. May God bless you, thank you, and have a good night. Good evening. My name is Lynn McGill. I have the pleasure of presenting the Developers Award. Developers help create and innovate the development process from beginning to end. And tonight, the nominees are Best Developer, Magnolia Development, Adamsome Development, and the winner is Magnolia Development. I'm truly humbled and thankful for my company Magnolia Developments to receive the Beck Award for a top real estate developer. Just to have been nominated alongside Adamson Developments was a blessing within itself. Since they're one of the long standing and successful developers that motivated me to pursue a career in construction and real estate development. Business owners such as myself started our businesses to chase our passions and to provide for our families with little thought of receiving accolades. So I'd like to thank the Chattanooga Business Elite for their efforts to provide a venue to showcase the talents and strong businesses within the community. I thank God for the strength, vision, and will to succeed. And I thank my entire family, but namely my lovely wife Althea, daughters Kaviana and Jayla, and my sons McCory and Miles for all their support and encouragement along this journey. Last but not least, I'd like to thank all of you who voted to make Magnolia Developments the Beck Award recipient for top real estate developer. God bless. Hi, my name is Stacy, and I'm presenting the Best Fitness Coach. Health is like an outfit that we all wear differently. If you've ever had the opportunity to take advantage of a personal fitness coach or personal trainer, here in the last five, four, three, two, one, sounds like magic. The nominees presented tonight in this category put forth their results, discipline, and dedication to get us to a better and a healthier lifestyle. The nominees are Best Fitness Coach, Tobe Taylor, T2 Fitness, Johnny Martin, Young Yoga Let's, Kaylin Stewart, BTG Sports, Ian Sullivan, NAL Fit, Tanya Martin, Busybody, Calvin O'Neill, Ozone Fitness, Markeisha Anderson, Captive Fitness, Cameron Russell, Everyday Cam, EDC, Destin Simone Black. And the winner is Tobe Taylor, T2 Fitness. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tobe Taylor, and I am so excited to be here tonight. I just want to take a moment right now and say I really appreciate it, and I am very honored for the city of Chattanooga to nominate me as being in the list of one of the top fitness coaches of the year, 2021. I am so excited, and thank you so much. I'm very humble for you all doing that. And I just want to say for the rest of the fitness coaches here in the city of Chattanooga, thank you all. And it takes all of us in the city of Chattanooga to uplift this place, to make sure that everybody is healthy and everybody's taking care of themselves. And I am just very honored right now to just speak with you all and say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to keep pushing for 2021 and big things are to come. You just wait and see. All right. So people during this time, don't be depressed about it. Pick yourself up, be creative and keep pushing. All right. T2. Peace out. March 2020. Jobs were lost, finances were troubled, children had to transition from the schools to the homes, restaurants had to close their doors, COVID-19, a pandemic, something that many of us were not prepared for. 
but there was one industry who was able to continue to thrive their business and became very important in the communities and they were still here for us. Food trucks. Food trucks, food trucks, food trucks. Rising here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. These are the people that we should continue to support because they were here for us during the pandemic. These are the nominees. Best food truck. Chatterbox Cafe. Crab Trap Seafood. Soul Q. Seafood King Jeans. Chicken with Bone. D's Egg Rolls. Bud Vibes. Food Vibes. Chef LeBeau's Mobile Bistro. And the winner is... Chatterbox Cafe. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my family, my friends, my customers, everyone that has supported me through this journey. Uh, this would not be possible without you guys. And uh, thank you for all the support that you've shown me. Chatterbox, follow the smoke. Hello, my name is Coco, and I am here presenting Kid Entrepreneur with m and have you ever asked yourself how young is too young to start a business? Well, this net category will let you know that age is not a limit and you can do anything you set yourself to. I present to you, Kids Entrepreneur. Best Kid Entrepreneur, Jayla Rucker, Serenity Nixon, Penny's Lemonade, Zion Jones Nacho Son, Tarina Whiteside, Lariah Hernandez, Diani Dessert. And the winner is... Penny's Lemonade. We want to say thank you, and we appreciate all the love and support Chattanooga has given us in the past two years. Penny's Lemonade was started for all of her foundation to give back and to show appreciation to Chattanooga, and we want to say thank you. Hello, my name is Maria, owner of Maria Assist, and I am here to present the award for Best Lawn Care Service. A lawn says a lot about the person occupying a home. From tree trimming to grass cutting, these next nominees can help make sure that your lawn speaks for itself. Best Lawn Care, Michael Hyatt, Centennial Lawns. Giovanni Myricks, J Lawn Care and Skates. Kevin Woodard, Kennedy Lawn. Joel Sims, Excellent Lawn Care. Jamichael Bridey, Lawn in order. Mike Jones, Special Touch Lawn Care. And the winner is... Giovanni Myricks, J Lawn Care and Skates. I like to thank God, my family, and the CBE organization. I also like to thank my supporters who voted for me and also the supporters who gave me the opportunity to earn their business. With God, prayer, and family, anything is possible. J.H. Lund, Karen Skates, make your yard my responsibility. My name is Naomi Ortiz, and the category is for Best Moving Company. And of course, no one likes to move, so this is an important category. And the nominees are... Best Moving Company, Adarius Woods Norwood, Muscle Movers, Wesley Williams, Wes Halls, Frederick Billups, Movers Elite, Scenic City Movers. And the winner is... Darius Woods Norwood, Muscle Movers. First of all, I want to thank BEC. I want to thank Chattanooga. I want to thank everyone who voted for me, all my customers, and thank God. Thank you. Hi, my name is Michael Williams, owner of Style Statement by Michael Janelle, and I am honored to present the award for Best New Business. Being a new business owner myself, I understand the challenges that these next nominees face. From the long nights, to logistics, to marketing, a business owner's job is never ending. Add a pandemic on top of that, and we saw a lot of businesses suffer. These nominees represent some of the businesses that came out on top. And here are the nominees for Best New Business. Best New Business, opened in 2020. Ivana Henderson, Johnny Sweet Tea, Adasia Miguel, Rebel Boutique, DeAsia Daniel, Amir True Hair Collection, Tyrena Harris, Locks of Love, 
Diamond Pride, Ready, Set, Prep. Dominique Smith, Ninth Vanity. Tim Tellus, Screen Rx. Janika Jones and Keisha Swafford, Sign Yours Truly. Brittany Ammons, BA Designs. Maria Gilchrist, Maria Assist. Deandra Sims, Chick Treats. And the winner is Tyrena Harris, Lots of Love. I want to give honor to God. He's so good for allowing me this opportunity to be on this platform. I also want to thank my mom and also the rest of my family for being my biggest supporters from day one. Thank you to all my clients and also my future clients. Thank you, CBE, for allowing me to be on this black platform and be recognized for black excellence. Thank you to the city of Chattanooga. Hi, my name is Mary Lisa Wigfall, and I'm here presenting for the best restaurant. We all know that food is our unspoken love language, and the nominees are... Best Restaurant, Saks Wing Shack, Crab Trap Seafood, Davis Wayne's, Chattanooga Wing Factory, Uncle Larry's, Big Jeff's Barbecue, Herman's Soul Food, Haven's Diner, and the winner is Crab Trap Seafood. All right, what's up? I'm Philip Gore. And I'm Terrence West. And together we're the owners of Crab Trap Chattanooga and Crab Trap Mobile Kitchen. Man, I'd like to give thanks to the um, BEC Awards, to all our supporters, to the whole Crab Trap crew. And um, we've been going for three years now, and we the one best restaurant two years in a row. And we hope to keep going. Just appreciate y'all continued support. And let's do it. We still trapping, man. Crab Trap Chattanooga. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a moment to support these local black owned businesses. Four to three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Build different, my pedigree. Four to three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Yeah. Four to three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Build different, my pedigree. Four to three, my legacy. Wake up, everybody. No more sleeping in bed. No more back to thinking. Time for thinking ahead. The world has changed so very much from what it used to be. There's so much hatred, war, and poverty. Oh, 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 wake up all the teachers, time to teach a new way. Maybe they may... My name is Kendall Peterson. I am the owner of Offerway. We are a home solutions company that can help a lot of homeowners that may have a distressed property. So if you've got a home that you may have inherited, going through back taxes, pre-foreclosure, we're able to help with a lot of those situations. We do have a referral program as well, uh, so any homes that you guys refer to us that we are able to buy and meet the criteria, uh, we do give a $1,000 referral fee. President Suevo is in a meeting. Please hold. Let's hear these new ideas. What about car loans? We do that. Okay, loans before a home. You're a genius. We could put money back into our community instead of keeping it for ourselves. We do that too. Good evening, Chattanooga. My name is Terrence Locke, and I am the Scholarship Marketing Director with Chattanooga Business Elite. First off, I would like to say thank you to Kevin Love and Shea McCowan for allowing me to serve a purpose, my purpose, to giving back to the youth with our scholarship program. 
We've asked our students to apply for our scholarship, which entails business plans and entrepreneurship. And they did just that with some amazing creativity throughout all of their work. To the students in the Hamilton County area, please, as you enjoy the show, I want you all to notice all the entrepreneurs, the business owners, and the professionals. These are the ones who have donated to our scholarship fund and sponsored your future to go to college. It's not what you know, it's who you know in this entrepreneur world. So as you go off to college, all that we ask is if you pay us forward by doing your personal best. So without further ado, these are the scholars. Lorani Bussey, Alabama School of Fine Arts, class of 2021, with a GPA of 3.8, ACT of 17, with the bright future of bringing home to Chattanooga a dance studio. Lorani Bussey. I would like to thank Chattanooga Business Elite for the opportunity to get the scholarship. And I would also like to encourage the upcoming class of 2022 to apply for the scholarship because you never know what might happen. Thank you. Jalen Scott, attending Udawa High School with a grade point average of 3.2, attending the DECA Club and the band. He plans to major in business at Chattanooga State College this fall. If you plan to go to college for any sort of business major, I encourage all senior students to apply for this scholarship because any sort of money helps when it comes to college. Thank you, CB. Felicia Williams, attending Brainerd High School with a grade point average of 3.9, attends the National Girls Leadership Program. She plans to go to Chattanooga State with a major in nursing. To the Rising Seniors, Class of 2022, we would like to thank the Chattanooga Business Elite. Also, I advise you guys to participate and to qualify for the Chattanooga Business Elite Scholarship. It is a great opportunity for you and for me. Special thank you to my grandmother, my godparents, Tony and Toya Oliver, and my mentor, Sheila Key. Thank you. Chandler Foster, attending East Hamilton High School with a grade point average of 3.0. All region football scholar who plans to attend the College of City Visions with the Associates of Science and a minor in business. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank God and my family. And I want to thank the Chattanooga Business Elite for giving me this opportunity. And I encourage all you up and coming seniors to apply for this scholarship because it'll really help. Thank you. I know some of you all know me as my hosting, you know, and doing my thing as Jay Fever. Right. Before the before the lights, before the fame, right. yeah. I was in a group. You yep. know what I'm saying? Right. right. My name was Jay Love. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They called me Dirty K. Yeah, it's your boy, Twips the Dip. Y'all know how it go. Dip <laughs> me, baby, dip me. And we are third, third string. string. Huh? Yeah. Not first string. Third string. Yeah, why, why they call us third string? Because they wouldn't let us play no rain. And who was them? We talking uh, about Usher. Jimmy Allgood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, real tight men. Real, but real when tight they was loose tight. Bobby, CC, right. all them. Even the gospel Cameroon groups. Cameroon Scrubs, rest in peace. Uh, 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 new beginning when they was old beginning. When, right. when, when, red, when red was blue. <laughs> and blue was red. You know what I'm saying? And, and they was doing backflips and they was happy clowns. Uh, uh, anyway, we, that uh, uh, was, uh, anyway wait, man. Wait, but anyway. Only what, what one that believed in us was Silverhawk. Silverhawk. Charles Watts. And I thought it was a football team. I, what? What? Don't Silver Hawks. It is what it is. It is well, what man, it is. Man, just, just tell me why we're here, bro. All right, so, you know what I'm saying? We got out. We finally put our differences to the side, you know what I'm saying? And we uh, we, yeah. we decided we're going to come up with a new project, mm -hmm. you know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. I, I hope we're going to touch some people with our music, you know, we people that really believe in us. We got to touch You know what I'm saying? But I, I know this is all good and everything, but why we break up in the first place? What happened? I gotta bring it up because I, I, we gotta clear the air. Uh, I, it might be you. Uh, me? My, oh, no, wait. no, 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 no. We ain't talking about exactly that. Exactly why we. What happened? You first forty-eight hours. We're not gonna talk I, about that. I, I would tell on you for We're a not gonna sprite talk about that. and two shrimp. I would tell on you. I'm See what happened that. was I thought at a competition. You know what I'm saying that we was performing and I passed out. And, you know, I thought I had diabetes. So, you know, I did my research and yeah. I led back to when I 
was eating frozen as a child. Time out. You know, and we broke candy up because ladies. you thought you had sugar. I was going over different candy ladies and I was obsessed with you know sugar? frozen. And I sued, sugar. you know what I'm saying? I for you know my damages, I sued all the candy ladies and challenge. No, 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 hold up, you hold up, hold up. Wait. Candy ladies. Let's just keep and it real. Candy. Let, let, let's no, just keep, keep it real. No, 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 no. no Okay. You Mr. Sued. Nash was the candy man, the only candy man in Chattanooga, and that's... But I got a problem with that. Why? We in the same group, but you know that's my granddaddy. But I, I was looking out for the long term. But man. how you going to sue my... Selfish, man. man. How you going to sue my granddaddy, and he been dead. Been dead. Man, I was just thinking about if it. If I wasn't saved, I'd cuss you out right now. Son. That's your problem. Uh, you you uh, got to watch uh, yourself. Uh, uh, you got to watch uh, yourself. Because uh, 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 he got the tape. Uh, uh, he got the tape of you. He got the tape of you. He got the tape of you. Listen. He got the tape of you. Okay, listen. It's fine. Don't listen. forget how let's soon we forget. Let's get to the point. Let's get to the point. What's the point, Let's get to the point. I rep for Jesus. You rep for Jesus. You walking for the Lord. I cut you for Jesus right now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I cut you for Jesus Christ right now. Listen. I come to church with you. Calm down, Dirty K. I come to church with you. As long as they taking communion and I get a whole sleeve of crackers. As long hey. as y'all got real wine. Got you. Real wine. We in there. Mad Dog 2020. We in there. We in there. So, right. what, 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 what we here for, man? Tell me. Tell man, me. I, I, I think it's time to tell the word that we back in full strength. <laughs> we in there, baby. You know what I'm saying? We got a new album coming soon. We got word. a Christmas album. Word. We got another one. And we changing our name to E. K. G. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the name of the album is Flatline. So, y'all get ready for that. Three Heart Murders. You know what I'm saying? Three heart murmurs. Do, 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 do. And every time one of us goes, doom, doom, the other one goes, doom, doom. You see that? That's okay, but hold up. Let's, let's, give them, let's give them a little bit. Give them a taste of what we got coming up. Right, y'all, you, did you get that the other day? I got yeah, the track. I got, I got, I got the record. I'm in there. Let's go. My mama used to stay right off Third Street. I bought my first alternator. Right off Third Street. Out of zone. I met my baby mama at hang time. Right on Third Street. She got shot at. Pow. The best damn chicken in the world. Right on Third Street. Honey mustard. See? That, 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 see, that right there. That, that, see, you always acting like Ladies Cisco, little brother. Crisco. some real R&B, stay tuned. Coming up next. Let's get it. Let's go. We out.
Good evening. My name is Kevin Love. And my name is Shay McCowan. Uh, we want to thank you guys for watching the show so far. And we also want to thank all of our sponsors that sponsored this event, especially our presenting sponsor, Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union. Yes, an electric power board right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The Enterprise Center. Finwood Foundation. And the Chattanooga News Chronicle. Simpa Community Care. Without your sponsorship, this show wouldn't have happened. On the behalf of the CBE board, we want to thank you. Yes, we appreciate you all, and we hope you all enjoy the show. We would just like to take a moment to acknowledge those that have been affected by the tornado in our area, those who have fought through the challenge of our pandemic, and we definitely want to thank and acknowledge the families of those that we are honoring today, Mr. Warren Logan and Mr. Chris Ramsey. Hi, my name is Bree Stevens and I'm presenting for the Best School Administrator Award. The average person may think that a school administrator is just somebody who goes and runs the school on the day to day. This is not true. A school admin is someone who is the entire glue for communities, faculty, and staff, and all the homes that are connected to it, especially during difficult times like the one that we're facing right now. And the nominees are Best School Administrator, Crystal Sorrells. Rashad Williams, Tawambi Settles, Tiffany Irvin, Dr. Brian Johnson, Leandria Ware, Tally Caldwell. And the winner is Crystal Sorrells. Thank you so much for this honor. Thank you to Chattanooga Business Elite, the BEC Awards, I appreciate it. Thank you for your continued commitment to celebrating excellence in the black community and here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Thank you to all of the educators, family and friends who have always poured into me, encouraged me and supported me throughout my 22 year career, a career that I love. Last but not least, thank you to the educator that means the most to me, my mother, Thank you for pouring into me. Thank you for being who you are in my life and all that you do and all that you continue to do. I know that dad, my brother, my aunts, and all the educators in my family are smiling down, those who couldn't be here with us, and I hope to continue to make them proud. Thanks again. Hello, my name is Stacy, and I'm presenting the best small business. Every big business started from a small business. However, all small businesses have a huge impact, especially in our community, and the nominees are. Best small businesses, one through 25 employees. Amber Woodruff, Little Giggles. Tyqual Strickland, Paradise Bound. Tangere Major, MP Sports Bar and Grill. Tia Hunt. Crown Full of Locks, Angel Twitty, FCA Collections, James Hatcher, Chattanooga Mobile Notary Service, Yvonne and Christy Baird, Sweet Cream Ice Cream, Mykeisha Lacey and Nicole Dillard, Lux Spa, Millennial Nail Bar, Stephanie and Prescott Carter, Walk Hard Shoe Cleaning and Restoration. And the winner is Sweet Cream Ice Cream. We would like to thank God for this amazing um, opportunity, these blessings that he has given us. We would also like to thank our family and friends from being there from the beginning. Also our children who's helped us along the way. We would like to thank our customers for their loyalty and their support. Not only the support, every like, every comment, every share, we greatly appreciate it. And we would like to thank the BC Awards for this amazing opportunity. Hey, this is C. Brian Foster. We have been challenged to do business at a time when our buildings have been closed. We have nominees that have turned to online sales to be able to boost their goods and services. The nominees for best social media business are best social media business Tony Boston celebrity hype man Tim Ellis screen rx Chris Shaw holy man beard essentials Bernicia Sims exquisite extensions Mon Franklin 
Hair Trapping. Stephanie Sims, Revamped Interior Designs. Kaisha Williams, Bazo Designs. And the winner is. It's a tie. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a tie. Tony Boston, Celebrity Hype Man. Mon Franklin, Hair Trapping. Wow. I would like to accept this award right here in honor. I would like, first of all, I would like to thank the BNC family for putting this event on. Next, I would like to thank the Channel Nuga and the surrounding areas. I would like to thank everyone who took their time out to vote for me. We got to keep pushing, keep pushing. Best social media award. I would like to send a prayer out to everyone that lost someone during this pandemic. And remember, we all are winners through Christ doing this show. So keep your head up. May God bless you. May it keep you. It may have strengthened you, and I'll see you next year. I am your man, Celebrity Hype Man, Tony Boston. Hey, I'm outside. What you want to do? Hey, they finally done gave us what, man. They finally gave us what we deserve. I accept this on behalf of myself and all my supporters, all my day ones, man. They've been supporting me since we were teen. We don't grew up together. I don't seen you. You don't seen me grow as a person. I don't seen you. We don't kid it. We don't part it. Like the people that remember when we was pulling up in the cars with the bundles in the back, hopping out with them inches. Really hurt trapping. Like we had the basketball games with the flies. We had the local hood store. We got the posters in there making sure that we have every party lit, man. Hey, I just want to thank you for that, man. Chattanooga for supporting me. I've been here over a decade. We can't do nothing but go up and up. 2021, we outside the whole 2021, man. Go get my new single, yay. Hi, my name is Jamil Holbert, owner of Holbert Tax Services, and I am honored to be presenting the award for Best Tattoo Artist. The nominees in this category, they are all experts at bringing the best visions to your reality. And the nominees are? Best Tattoo Artist, John Lindsay. Marcus Mobley, Tadit Jean, Dewan Swafford. And the winner is? John Lindsay. I just want to say, little baby said it best. I never call myself the GOAT. I leave it up to the people. Thank you, Chattanooga. I'm Khadija McNeely, and I'm the founder of Millennial Nail Bar. I will be presenting Best Traveling Agent. We've been cooped in the house all year long, and I don't know about you all, but I'm ready to get out and travel. This next category will help you with putting some stamps in that passport. And the nominees are... Best Travel Agent, Michelle McCowan, Shonda Glass, Takesha Pratt. And the winner is... Takesha Pratt. Thank you all so much for voting for me and continuing to support me through this mission. This has been a very, very challenging year for travel agents going through a pandemic, but for you all to still consider me as the best for the second year in a row, I just wanna say thank you. Thank my family, thank my husband. I would like to thank friends who continue to support me and my mission, and when you're ready to travel, think of Trip Spice. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Lynn McGill, and I have the honor of presenting the Best Teacher Award. We have seen our teachers rise to the challenge during this pandemic, and we are so grateful for all of the long hours that you have really labored for all of our children. So we say thank you. And the nominees are... Best Teacher, Tammy Martin, Bria Sibley, Lauren Swanson, Leon Rice, Cornelia Franceschi, Latoya Oliver, Veronica Green. And the winner is Tammy Martin. Good evening. It is such a joy to be receiving an award and something that I am so passionate about, and that is teaching. First of all, I just want to say thank you, Lord, for birthing this in me to be able to touch the lives of children. Next, I want to move on, and I just want to thank my family, to my mother and my father, well-known mentors, speakers, preachers. Uh, my mom is a retired, well-known teacher and principal who has touched the lives of so many over the years. I just so happy to 
to be able to follow into her footsteps. To my awesome husband, Johnny Martin, thank you so much for coming over to my school, working with my kids, mentoring with them, especially those um, who don't have a father figure in their lives, as well as just coming and working in my classroom, making sure that I have everything I need to continue teaching. And to my two beautiful daughters, Imani and Teray, Mama loves you. I thank you for just pushing me. You were the driving force uh, for me to go to school and get my degree in teaching. And so now I am here. And to the BEC Awards, man, you guys rock. Thank you so much for creating this platform to show the greatness of our black people working in Chattanooga. We are awesome. And I leave you with this. Black lives, black voices, and black education, it matters. Black people, we rock. Thank you so much. Simple Community Care. How do we say thank you? Without your sponsorship, this show wouldn't have been possible. We want to take this moment to say thank you for everything that you guys have done and are doing in our community to help spearhead the fight against COVID-19. Simple Community Care. Thank you. Champion Christian Learning Academy is a child care center providing quality child care for children ages six weeks to five years old. We focus on creative curriculum that allows for math, literacy, and science skills to be taught through engagement, class projects, student-led activities, and circle time. CCLA opened in 2017 with just three students, but today we have 95 students enrolled. Our teaching staff is very passionate about planning days full of activities, games, projects, and learning fun. We also believe in allowing children to learn through music, movement, and other physical activities. There's so much research that supports that coordination, balance, and rhythm all enhance the learning experience. We partner with several independent contractors for these things because these activities prove to develop teamwork, confidence, trial and error skills, and self-esteem. We take pride in providing these services for the students at CCLA because we see the difference that it makes in the classroom. CCLA is a place where learning happens every day CCLA at every stage. From Brainerd to Hickson to Alton Park to Lookout Valley, let's make life better in every neighborhood. I'm Tim Kelly. As mayor, I'll fix streets, sidewalks, and potholes, even if I have to fix things personally. To get on track after COVID, we'll focus on creating jobs in Chattanooga small businesses. And our crime prevention strategy should make neighborhoods safer in every zip code. Tim Kelly, improving all neighborhoods, moving Chattanooga forward. My Style of Travel is a full-service travel concierge specializing in creating luxury experiences around the globe. The owner, Michelle Styles McCowan, has been an avid traveler for over 20 years, and it is the experience through her own travels that she brings to the table. Whether you are a first-time traveler or a seasoned world globetrotter, if you can envision it, our team can execute it. My Style of Travel is invested in our client's journey, ensuring satisfaction and making certain every trip is filled with positive, lifelong memories. Our next presenter is Kevin Love, here to present the Chris Ramsey Humanitarian Award. Good evening, my name is Kevin Love. I have the pleasure of introducing the Humanitarian Award. But before I do that, I would like to take this time to dedicate this award to Chris Ramsey. Uh, on behalf of the Chattanooga Business Elite Board, we are renaming this award after Chris Ramsey. Uh, Chris Ramsey exemplified leadership. Uh, he was charismatic, he's energetic, and he loved Chattanooga. Love, love, love Chattanooga. Um, and what we would like to do is continue his legacy, continuing uh, to support the city, continue to allocate resources to the city, and continue just to support everybody in the city uh, that's doing anything positive. Uh, Chris Ramsey would love that. I was fortunate to work with Chris Ramsey two years, and I got to see Chris Ramsey work ethic every day. And for me, that helped me grow as a young professional and as a man. And so we would like to show a clip of Chris Ramsey last year receiving his flowers and being the first recipient of the Humanitarian Award. I think I don't need a microphone, so let me stand back here a little bit. How y'all doing, Chattanooga? First of all, I want to congratulate
congratulate these young people for putting on such a great event. Let's give it. caregiver and she advocates for our seniors within our community but she's also a voice with her Sharon's Caregivers Connections radio show that she has done for years now within our community. Sharon Kelly we have roses for you and thank you for being our Chris Ramsey Humanitarian Award recipient. I want to thank the Chattanooga Business Elite for this great opportunity to get an opportunity to receive such an amazing award uh, today. I've been a nurse in the city of Chattanooga for some 38 years now. My journey all started with the need of caring for others. I wanted to be a nurse ever since I was a little girl at the age of five. And then now I am a registered nurse here and uh, my journey went on to be caring for my grandmother who suffered with Alzheimer's disease. And I wanted to help keep her at home. So what I did, I thought about what could I do and so I started an adult day center back in 1997, the first adult day center in the state of Tennessee. So I was so proud of that moment. But by doing that, I seen people going into the nursing home still before time. And so I was able to open up the first assisted living facility here in Chattanooga owned and operated by an African-American female. And from that, I went on to provide services in the home where I went in to help with bathing, dressing, housekeeping, whatever I could do to help people stay in the home with their family and loved ones. And then from that, I saw homeless people in our community that uh, didn't have a place to stay. And so I began to buy dilapidated property in the community and refurbish it and do a dealing with the Chattanooga Housing Authority where I was able to get Section 8 vouchers to house them and help with their funding of their rent each month. Those are some of the things that I've been able to do over the last years here in Chattanooga. And with that being said, I am so proud to be an honorary member uh, here being given a, a opportunity to receive such a fantastic award. I didn't know anybody was even really paying any attention. I was just doing my thing. I was just caring for people. 
because that's what I do. So I want to thank the Chattanooga Elite for nominating me and choosing me and you voting for me for this such fine award. And with that being said and with it being named after Chris Ramsey, someone that I admire and I love, that I've worked with at his health fairs ever since day one, starting off at Brainerd High School up until the last minute. He was supposed to be my moderator here for my town hall meeting on November the 20th, 20 of last year, and that didn't get an opportunity to do. So just, just to say, love on everybody as much as you can. Take care of everybody as much as you can, because you never know what might happen tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a moment to support these local black-owned businesses. Four, two, three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Built different, my pedigree. Four, two, three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Yeah. Four, two, three, my legacy. I'm just trying. Champion Christian Learning Academy is a child care center providing quality child care for children ages 6 weeks to 5 years old. We focus on creative curriculum that allows for math, literacy, and science skills to be taught through engagement, class projects, student-led activities, and circle time. CCLA opened in 2017 with just three students, but today we have 95 students enrolled. Our teaching staff is very passionate about planning days full of activities, games, projects, and learning fun. We also believe in allowing children to learn through music, movement, and other physical activities. There's so much research that supports that coordination, balance, and rhythm all enhance the learning experience. We partner with several independent contractors for these things because these activities prove to develop teamwork, confidence, trial and error skills, and self-esteem. We take pride in providing these services for the students at CCLA because we see the difference that it makes in the classroom. CCLA is a place where learning happens every day at every stage. I'm Monty Brule, and I want to be your mayor. Let's govern from the people up, not the privileged down. I will provide free public transit, good paying jobs, and a world-class parks and rec department. Let's work together to build the bridge to our future. Go to MontyBrule.com to contribute, volunteer, and spread the word. We are Chattanooga. Imagine what we can do together. Hi, my name is Bree Stevens and I'm presenting for the Best Artist Award. To be an artist is to be in a constant state of self-reflection and selflessly pouring yourself out to art and what it means to drive culture forward. The nominees are... Best in the Arts, Jarrell Woods, Sheila Wofford, Andrew Bullard, Ian Elijah B, Erica Roberts, Kanika Jamila, The Coyote Gallery. And the winner is Sheila Wofford. Thank you to the Chattanooga Business Elite for this BEC Best in Arts Award. Thank you to the many people who voted for me. I am dedicated to excellence in film, television, and theater for our community. Thank you again. Hey, honey, you want to hear a good construction joke? What do you got for me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm still working on it. <laughs> OK, so I'll leave that to the guys in this next category. And the nominees for this category are Best Comedian, Nate Royal, Tiara Willingham, Alex A.C. Hutchinson, Twan McClain. And the, the winner, winner is, is Nate Royal. Unfortunately, bro, I couldn't make it to the thing. So I got the award, and I'm going to put it in my box Chevy, and I'm going to be down the block. Ah, BC, baby! If music is the blood that keeps life going, then the DJ is the heart that keeps it pumping. This next category recognizes the person who is behind any true party or event, the DJ. And the nominees are... Best DJ, Million Dollar Man, 
DJ Big Breezy, DJ D Strict, DJ Hollywood Oompa, DJ Duddy Laundry, DJ K Styles. And, and the winner, winner is, is Million Dollar Man. What's up, Chattanooga, Tennessee? It is yours truly, the most electrifying man in DJ entertainment, the Million Dollar Man. I am Keenan Daniels. Thank you to everyone who took time out to vote for me, the city of Chattanooga. Thank you so much for the love, all the recommendations. To the other DJs in the group, thank you guys for pushing me and motivating me to be a better DJ. I truly appreciate that. To my lovely wife, girl, you know I love you, girl. Alexis, I see you, baby. Thank you for your support, sweetie. Thank you for everything you've done to push me and motivate me to be a better man. To my church family, PCCI, thank you. Chattanooga, Tennessee, thank you so much. Welcome, my name is Brianna Garza and I'll be presenting the award for best event planner. When it comes to event curation in the city, these nominees make it happen. When you're looking for something to do, places to go, these are your go-to locations. The nominees are best event planner. Signed yours truly event planning and decor. Everlasting Memories Wedding Planning and Decor Rental. Grand Finale and Events and Decor. Exotic Creation. Touched by Tiki. Alex Cole Company. Bobby the Cake Man. And the winner is... Exotic Creation. On the behalf of the Waymaker himself, God, thank you for taking the most humble moments of me and allowing me to build an empire. On the behalf of each and every one of my customers, thank you. For anyone who have liked, shared, or inquired my service, thank you. And last but not least, for anyone who have took the time out to vote for Exotic Creations, I am because of you. We are because of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, my name is Denise Dave. Women love to look their best at all times. These nominees are great at selecting nice pieces for us women to look out best. The nominees are Best Fashion Designer, Jacquees Simone, Kamisha Johnson, Timeless Fashion, Monique Murphy, M91, John Owalabi, Naps, Misty Williams, Be Yarn Self. And the winner is Jacquees Simone. Thank you so much, Chattanooga, and thank you again, Chattanooga Business Elite, uh, for the opportunity to be nominated and awarded yet again Chattanooga's Best Fashion Designer. I'm so grateful for the opportunity. It is a blessing. Um, I want to thank the whole city, all of Chattanooga, all of my supporters, all of my clients. Without you all, this would not be possible. Uh, I know that 2020 was full of ups and downs for all of us. Uh, but with you all behind me, my family, my friends, uh, I've flourished in my business and I've continued to grow. And I'm so grateful for that. Um, thank you again, Chattanooga. The work of graphic designers is critical in times of the coronavirus. As visual information becomes imperative to stay in what we call the COVID safe zone, in these set of nominations, we highlight graphic designers who have shown up and shown out. And the nominees are... Best Graphic Designer... Demetrius Smith, MD Graphics. Darius Jenkins, Darius Creates. Jordan Gustus, Customized Media Boutique. Chris Torrey, Live Feed Media. Kentrell Watkins, All in One Media. And the winner is... Kentrell Watkins, All in One Media. What up, Chattanooga? I am Kentrell Watkins Senior, All in One Media. I'd like to thank everyone who went out and voted, anyone who would have ever trusted me with their brand. If it was a logo, a flyer, a business card, a car wrap, anything you can name, a banner, I thank you. I'd like to send a shout out to all the nominees. Every one of us got great work, man. Great work. I just like to send out a big shout out to the whole city because the whole city is looking real good right now. I just want to tell everybody, keep doing your thing, you know, and just stay with it. 
I'm Brianna Garza, and I'm presenting the award for the BEC Best Musician. And the nominees are... Best Musician, Sam Patton, Suavo, Frank Bumpus, Jeremiah Taylor. And the winner is... Frank Bumpus. What's up, everybody? Wow. It's two years straight I've won this award. Um, I had no idea that I would uh, have such impact and popularity amongst my people here in Chattanooga. So I want to thank you so much. First of all, first and foremost, I want to thank God um, for giving me the uh, ability to be the type of musician that I am. And um, I just give them all praise and honor for that. I'd like to thank my parents for instilling in me uh, the musicianship that I have and for blessing me with the instrument that I still play today um, uh, so long ago. Um, I also want to thank you, all of you who voted for me, all of you who nominated me, all of you who believe in me and um, support me. I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And uh, just stay tuned. There's a lot more coming. I'm Brianna Garza, and I'm presenting the winner of the Music Artist of the Year for the BEC Awards. When it comes to music, Chattanooga is a staple in the South. Forget about Atlanta. If you want to know what's happening in the music industry, you found your home. The best artists will be found in your backyard. The nominees are... Best Music Artist, Bendy, Nisi Powell, Caramel Kitty, N.R.A. LaRatchet, A.J. Janae, Kimmy J. Soul, K.B. Brown. And the winner is... K.B. Brown. I want to thank the BEC for the acknowledgement. I want to thank my fans and supporters for the continuous support. I want to thank the city of Chattanooga because if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Yo, yo, it's 2021 and it's the BEC. And I am your host, your man Jay Feeve. I got the million dollar man and my homeboy Twan. So sit back, relax, we're about to have some fun. Come on. Rest in peace, Minnie. Uh. Rest in peace, Tank. Uh. We lost a lot of people, so we gotta give thanks to the man upstairs for just keeping us here. And BEC, celebrating one year. Boy, I've been <laughs> had bars like Ninth Street. Woo. Yeah, I'm black excellence, I keep it complete. Come on. I might have some folks that can't stand me. What? Because I'm Chattanooga strong, Chris Ramsey. That's right. And everywhere I go, I rep the 423. And thanks to EPB, we doing it virtually. So yes. sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. But say it with me one time. Let's get it, let's go. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. But say it with me one time. Let's, let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. Okay. Did you say TV? Yeah. You say yeah. TV? Yeah. yeah. We on TV right now. BEC. I can rap. BEC. Oh, give him oh, 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 I went from B E C to B E T. Oh, Psych. Wow. From B E T to B E C. Oh. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, I need an E B T. Wow. Somebody better feed me. Feed, feed me. me. Matter of fact, you better get me a sandwich. Tell them what's like. It better not be no sandwich. No, no. Uh. Matter of fact, somebody stop. Stop me. Got a prick in my back. I won't clock. Clock. <laughs> Matter of fact, they better pick it. Pick it. Got a pick. They better rip it. They better rip it. Matter of fact. Have you seen her? Have you seen her? I come through like Katrina. No. But I'm a hurricane. I, I, no. I, I, I think you, I, you need to pull it back. Yeah, yeah. If you want a real cypher, oh. it's about to come up right now. Oh. Yeah, you oh. went, you went really? too far. You went too far. Yeah, Katrina? Really? Really? Katrina? Really? Never be under y'all. Never get credit, but that's the life of an underdog. Hey, got people depending on me to lead the way. There's no bliss, cause it really could've went either way. And say my grind and my demeanor will make me attractive. Hey, like why we standing still? It's time to get at them. Hey, super focused on smoke, man. I barely get tipsy. Hey, that's no that hustle in me, the spirit of Nipsey. Um, 
But I guess they waiting on me to slip When all I showed them was hard work and some leadership Hey, but I won't be denied and that's a promise, man It's one for the chat, I'm about to take us to the promised land And there was times I was down and feeling defeated But I could never walk away cause I know that I'm needed Hey, hey, blow your pizza hate them with them folks a legend huh? But the facts to remain that we two local legends They say you sold just to make it as bogus, little homie And I don't know who need to hear this, but focus, little homie Get on your grind, start asking niggas to do shit Huh? I hope y'all ready for this new shit Ayy, and I don't like to lose, homie, I play to win Came with them bars, I feel it's time to make them great again Say I'm a threat cause I'm young, black, and I'm educated Came with a plan that we executed, premeditated As you real when you're hoping, praying that your dog will fall Niggas so square and I ran circles around all of y'all Ayy, show sure improving, we did this here with no ancestors How can I lose when a nigga walk with his ancestors? I get this credit and they acting like that I'm on it local Ayy, but nothing about me say that I'm mediocre I pray you see the bigger pick when you clutching that burner. Cause life is on the brief, but the soul is eternal. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That death is eternal. Uh. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, hatred equals motivation. I know you hate the fact that I like the fact that you hate me. I made it while making reasons to keep on making faces. You ain't gotta give me the game, just don't get mad when I take it. Face it, I took the game and I laced it. My secret's better than Mason's, like your training, you basic. What? Fakeness I don't see with LASIK. Hatred is actually tasted. Makes me a predator looking for my annihilation. Look, I roll with shooters who toting them Rugas. Excuses off of losers, confuse them like quoting Confucius. I get on any track, leave them chasing cabooses. You couldn't measure with rulers. My crew's the new Freddy Krueger. Require higher than you can aspire. You liar should retire, fire each one of your writers. While you was sitting in diapers, I sat in circles of ciphers, rhyming with nicest of lifers, hype the flow getting tighter. Equipped with more bars than an island of Rikers, with more stripes on my arm like fighting with tigers. Lyrics flyer than fighter pilot engine igniters, get you higher than Wiz Khalifa's lighters and singing choirs. To the day that I expire, swear to be the flyers like those crackers that fire up to the sky, 4th of Julyers. I like the lens and the sun's rays magnifiers. They try to kill me like Caesar Julius. And listen, just look around the world, I know it's crook enough. That's why I keep a couple killers back there cooking up. And I would tell all of y'all to come and look me up, but what's the point if you ain't gonna be the one that's gonna book me, bruh? Support local music, it's flow. Uh-huh. Let's go. Look, let me introduce myself. Yeah, they call me Eddie. Kind of cerebral mindset, sharper than a machete. Grown man flow, so secure, opposite of petty. Let the flood gates of wisdom flow like a broken levee. See, you about to get this work just like it serves shift. Delicate with the adjectives. I'm kind of like a wordsmith. Black excellence, yeah, the swagger is just a benefit. I carry more class than a teacher with a syllabus. Yeah, I know you're feeling this, like a massage therapist. Swagger so tight, uh, it is not negligent, uh. I bring change like a register to the nation. The whole squad in the building like we renovate and gamble with shenanigans. Life is not a stretch off, like receding hairlines, negativity backs off. Me, a young king, shout out to Martin Luther Switman in this water of success, just like a barracuda. Let's get it. Good evening, my name is Marcus Johnson, and it is my honor to present on behalf of Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union, this year's Legend Award. When we think about legends, we often think about our favorite athletes, LeBron James, our favorite artists, Jay-Z, Will Smith, but sometimes we have to stop and recognize the legends that are in our community. And this particular small business is absolutely legendary. John P. Franklin Funeral Home has been serving the African American community and the Chattanooga community at large for 126 years. By far, the longest standing black owned business in this community's history. When we think about 2020 and all that it brought to us, we have to consider those that were on the front lines, which include funeral homes. Those of us that lost loved ones in 2020, we had to trust that the funeral home 
would honor our loved ones even in a very difficult and different time. Safety was paramount. But along with safety, funeral homes had to adjust to be able to allow our loved ones to be honored appropriately. And John P. Franklin Funeral Home is a testament to what all funeral homes across the country had to do. It is my honor to, to recognize such an extraordinary small business in our community, one that we can all take pride in and hopefully follow in the legendary path. So it is my honor to recognize John P. Franklin Funeral Home as a legendary business in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Today, it is an extraordinary honor to accept the Legend Award on behalf of the staff, the late John P. Franklin Sr. and his father, G.W. Franklin, the first African-American undertaker in this area and serving the community for the last 125 years. We would also like to thank the Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union, the Chattanooga Business Elite for the work that you're doing in our community to celebrate businesses in our community. The work you're doing is incredible and we thank you so very much. As president for a day, local musician Suevo thought he would drive the fanciest car and play a lot of golf, but he didn't. There were a lot of meetings about mortgages and spreadsheets about car loans. Because at TVFCU, we don't put your money into the pockets of our executives. We put it into the community and into artists like Suevo. Chattanooga, vote for me, Dr. Eleanor Woods, as your next mayor. And this is why. So you can have a seat at the table, support small businesses, equity and fairness for our contractors, adequate funding for childhood education, the arts and recreation, end homelessness in the chokehold, and create a task force for criminal justice reform and mental health. So go vote now. I'm Wade Hinton, a son of the West Side. I left Chattanooga for law school, but I came back to give back to this community that always believed in me, to support progressive ideas to move us forward. I worked in business to create more diversity, in our community to create more opportunity, and as Chattanooga City Attorney to create more equality. I believe in a Chattanooga we can all believe in, and I'm asking you once again to believe in me. I'm Wade Hinton, Democrat for me, and I'm ready to lead on day one. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a moment to support these local black-owned businesses. Four, two, three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Built different, my pedigree. Four, two, three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Yeah. Four, two, three, my legacy. I'm just trying to be a better me. Built different, my pedigree. Four, two, three, my legacy. Hello, my name is Stacy, and I'm presenting for the best radio personality. Although we may never see these people, we hear them daily, each morning, each afternoon, and each evening. Whether it's our ride to work in the morning or our daily commute home, the radio personalities come into our lives and make us feel like they're our family. We thank them for each and every update and keeping us up to date about what's going on around the world and in our community. They all bring such a different flair, and we thank you for your service. The nominees are Best Radio Media Personality, Stephanie Tiller, LaMika Ball, Eric The Voice Foster, Willie McClendon, Donna L. Magic. And the winner is Eric The Voice Foster. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for uh, for nominating me. Uh, I want to thank uh, BEC for doing such a phenomenal job in the community and making sure that we recognize uh, our community and uh, all of the people that are making uh, Chattanooga a better place. Thank you guys so much and God bless you. Hey everyone, I'm Kayla Stewart and the category is Best Podcast. Each and every morning my daily routine includes showering of course <laughs> and listening to my daily podcast 
whether it is for motivational purpose, inspirational purposes, or just something to get me into the news and get my day started, I am definitely listening to podcasts. The nominees are Best Podcast, Work It Mama Podcast, Protect Your Mental, Cultured Banner, The Millennial Moment, Iggy's Loudmouth Podcast. And the winner is Protect Your Mental. Hey y'all, I'm Lida and I'm Akila, and, and we, we are Protect, Protect Your Mental. Mental. And we would just like to thank the Chattanooga Business Elite for this opportunity and everyone who nominated and voted for us for this year's BEC Award for Best Podcast. We are very, very grateful and we do thank you all so much. Now, if you are not familiar with Protect Your Mental, you can actually follow us at protectyourmental.com and also you can follow us on social media on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Now, we take our jobs very seriously here at Protect Your Mental. We work hard to protect ours, and we want to help you protect yours. So please, please, please use us as a resource. We are not just a brand, but we are a lifestyle. We truly are. We just want you to make sure throughout the day you remember to protect, protect your mental. Hi, my name is Erica Denise, and I'm here to present the award for the best photographer. Now, we all know we need that one friend or that one person that's going to get all of those angles. Now, if I take it for you, you'll probably get one of those toddler pics, the side of the face, or something that's totally blurry. But with these awesome nominees, you're going to get something from in a tree, on the ground, or anywhere else in the world. The nominees are... Best Photographer, Chris Hacker, Hacker Media. Lauren Viera, Lauren Viera Media. Corey Owens, Corey Owens Photography. Herman Prater, H. Prater Jr. Photography. Shelly King Jr., SK Jr. Photography. Jaleel White, Jaleel White Photography. Jonathan Royal, Royal Eye Images. Karis Jones, KT Images. Tanika Jackson, J5 Photography. And the winner is... Karis Jones. KT Images. Thank you, BEC Awards, and thank you, Chattanooga, for giving me the opportunity to be that man, your number one pick, that 2020 best photographer. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It really means a lot to me. And, you know, even when I was a nominated and I first saw that, I was cool with that. I mean, that's all I asked for. But just because y'all took y'all time and voted for me and put me where I need to be, put me on top, I appreciate that. I really do. Now, shout out to all those other photographers that was nominated as well. Uh, just remember this. We all got our own light that shines. You know what I'm saying? We all bring diversity and variety. You know what I'm saying? Chattanooga and the world needs to smile. So let's not give up on that, you know. But again, thanks to you guys, you know. I've been doing this for like 20 plus years, and this really shows that hard work really pays off. So, you know, this really means a lot to me, and I appreciate it. And I want to say thank you, much love to you, and let's keep on taking pictures, y'all. All right, thanks. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jalen Sims. The TV industry is where you want to be in 2020, where specifically this year is the year where African Americans are taking over both media and television screens, showcasing both their filming and communicative abilities. This nomination is for the group of people that have spoken when we couldn't. And the nominees are... Best TV Media Personality, Greg Funderburg, Latrice Curry, Joy Dukes, Travis Cummings, Taylor Bishop. And the winner is... Greg Funderburg. First, I would like to give an honor to God, who is the head of my life. I am filled with so much gratitude tonight. I was so honored to be nominated along with this amazing group of journalists. I have had the privilege of calling Chattanooga home for the past seven and a half years. I am so grateful God sent me to this community. I have been so proud to use this platform for greater good and highlight so much positivity around this community. Again, thank you so much and thank you to the Chattanooga Business Elite for highlighting so many people in our community tonight. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Keenan Daniels, the Million Dollar Man. I've had a bunch of opportunities to work with different photographers and videographers. Tonight, 
This category is dedicated to the videographer, Chattanooga's top videographer. And the nominees are... Best Videographer, Wardell Henderson, DC Film, Aaron Thomas, Zach Reynolds, Borkhouse Productions, Jimmy Marley, Who Shot Jimmy, Ayo Effium, The Wedding Guy, Chattanooga. And the winner is... Ayo Effium, The Wedding Guy, Chattanooga. And I just want you to know that I am extremely grateful that you, the public, would nominate this nonprofit organization and give us such a prestigious award. And I dare not take this award without acknowledging my God who allowed this to be the case. The mere fact that he has given me such favor in the eyes of men that y'all would select me for this year's award, it just says much about how God operates. And then also, I dare not accept this award without also acknowledging, one, my pastor, who entrusted me with this responsibility. He's backed me 100% during this entire process. I just wanted to say, in closing, I'm extremely grateful and honored that y'all selected us. Here to present our Chattanooga Business Elite Award is Shea McCowan, Michael Williams, and Terrence Locke. Hi, my name is Shay McCowan with Chattanooga Business Elite. We are here to present the Chattanooga Business Elite Award. Being an elite means not only excelling in business, but in your community as well. This particular award is voted on amongst the committee of Chattanooga Business Elite. We are so excited to present this award to Jania Church. Church. Jania Church exhibits excellence in every aspect of life. Her dedication to her passion has opened doors not only for herself, but for others in the city. I had the pleasure to sit down with Jania Church and learn more about her accomplishments and her accolades that she has received from the city. Here is a moment with her as she explains to you why we voted for her for the Chattanooga Business Elite Award. I was so excited to receive the news that I was recognized for Chattanooga Business Elite Award. Um, I, I think the world of Shay McGowan and the fact that she has created this platform to spotlight African American businesses and it's really been something that has been needed in this community for such a long time. And so to even be considered for this award was a huge honor. So I think when I think of Chattanooga Business Elite Award, I feel like it should be someone that exemplifies um, being at the top of their game in whatever their industry may be. And for me, having been in the industry for over 20 years, I've had a lot of successes um, that I attribute to, number one, my faith in God and that he's provided me with the skill set and the gifts to pursue a career that I love and enjoy. And because of that, I've been very passionate about trying to elevate it to the best of my ability. So it's always been about growing and, be, and doing, um, going beyond the status quo. So that has forced me, or not really forced me, I would say, but it has motivated me to push myself to new heights in my career. So I've traveled across the globe um, teaching and educating other stylists, but recently gotten into competition work. So I've had the pleasure of being recognized by um, the AIPP, which is an Associated Press of Editors uh, around the world. And I was one of two that was nominated for Best Hair Color last year in London. And that was a huge honor. And then just recently, North American Hairstylist of the Year uh, finalist for hair color. And that is like the Oscars or the Emmys of the hair industry. So that's at the highest height of our field in recognition. And so it was a huge thing for me uh, and a huge goal of mine to pursue. And so that was my first year entering and to be recognized amongst so many thousands. And it was only one of five in that field I think was a huge honor um, and so in my career um, just alone I think there's so many different avenues you can take you can stand behind a chair you can work day in and day out but for me I wanted to really explore all this career I had to offer and so I feel like now after having done New York Fashion Week 
uh, work in red carpets of many uh, award shows, American Music Awards, BET Awards, uh, working with many celebrities in different genres, to up into recently working in television and film with Deal or No Deal. I think those things now, coupled with me being here at the school, it kind of brings my career full circle. And that's what I say is working uh, towards becoming a business elite in whatever industry you're in. Um, I feel that once you reach this point, however, you do need to consider reaching and teaching other people how to become um, great in that same way. So for me, it's when you learn, you teach. And so that's where I am. So the piece of advice that I would say for a young entrepreneur or someone that's interested in uh, pursuing entrepreneurship is really to research your market, continue your education, find mentors um, that you can partner with that align with your, your vision and align with your morals. Um, and also people that have been successful to know what that's like. Um, I do feel that with that success, you face a lot of challenges and you need to be mentored by someone that's willing to share those struggles and challenges with you as well, uh, because it's gonna help you become a better business owner in the future. I would like to accept this Chattanooga Business Elite Award on behalf of everyone who nominated me. I don't do this for recognition. I really do this because I sincerely love what I do and I think that when you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. So to me, this is just pure pleasure of doing what I love to do every single day. Um, I like to thank God uh, foremost for providing me an opportunity to be able to walk in my gift and be able to impact others in the process. I also would like to thank everyone with Chattanooga Business Elite. Um, I would also like to thank my husband, um, Robert Church, um, he has been by my side through everything. He's seen the evolution of Jania, and that takes a lot of commitment and sacrifices and time away from family. And so for him to be a supportive husband and spouse, um, it means the world because you're only as strong as you are as your team. And to me, that is my team, my family, uh, my son, Jalen, um, think the world of him as well as um, my mother and the other family members. Um, thank you so much for everyone who's made this uh, possible for me. And I would like to thank one of my mentors, uh, Mr. Tony McFadden. He was the owner of Chattanooga College. Um, he tapped me years ago uh, to come over and to start working at the school and using some of those same practices that I use in my business to have grown my business thus far to put into the school and it's actually paid off. So thank you so much uh, and thank you. The barbershop has been a staple of the African American community for years. These nominees in this category have been on the cutting edge all the time. The nominees for best barber are Best Barber, Chris Newby, Greg Dixon, Marquel Crusher, Elijah Sand, Kid the Barber, C.T. Tiara Mitchell. And the winner is... Greg Dixon. And I do want to give a shout out to, you know, everybody around me who supported me through this journey to get to this point. Uh, pretty much all the Chattanooga, my clientele I got, family, friends, you know I'm my girl. Uh, thank y'all for, uh, you know, helping me get to this point. Good evening, my name is Adesha McGill. Barbershocks can be a huge staple in the community. Not only do they offer crispy hairlines and tight fades, but can also be a safe zone for many boys and young men. From what I've heard, their haircut makes the man. Also, they pass genuine love and care for their clients and form relationships that last a lifetime. Here are the nominees. Best Barbershop, Blue Boys Barbershop, The Gentleman's Barber Lounge, Virtuoso's Grooming Lounge, Cutting Edge Barbershop, Legacy Barbershop, Bears Barbershop, Baker's Barber College. And the winner is... The Gentleman's Barber Lounge. What's going on? I'm Quill, and I'm a barber at the Gentleman's Barber Lounge, which is nominated for Best Barbershop. I want to thank everyone who had anything to do with this, the awards, the voting, 
to everyone. And I want to send a special shout out to Mr. Craig and everyone who attends the Gentleman's Barber Lounge. Thank you. 2020 has taught us a couple of things. Number one being the art of the side hustle. The nominees in this category have proven that they have prevailed through it all, whether it's waiting for your vendors to send your packages or fussing with the post office. These nominees have prevailed and came out on top. The nominees for Best Boutique are Best Boutique, S2N Boutique, Style Statement by Michael Janelle, Exotic Glam Boutique, Erica Renee, K Denise Boutique, Unique Curves, Dana's Shoe Game, Lois Classic Boutique. And the winner is Unique Curves. I would like to thank everyone for believing in me and having faith in me. This is such an honor to be part of a great event, supporting each other and supporting black businesses. I would like to thank everyone, my mother, my family, my friends, all my customers and everyone. Thank you for nominating me and God bless. Hello everyone, my name is Kayla Stewart and my category is Best Esthetician. Estheticians are super important right now just because we are having an overusage of masks and of course we are liking to beat our faces right now. So um, the nominees for this category are Best Esthetician, Tiffany Sand, Majita Giddens, Mykia Green, Sunita Michelle, Kendall Edwards, Futura Holton, Shaquan Bush. And the winner is... Tiffany Sand. I'd like to thank the BEC Awards for having this great event. I'd also like to thank my friends and family and everyone who took the time out their day to vote for me. I really appreciate it. I'd like to thank God as well. Without him, I'm nothing. My mom, special shout out to you, my sisters, my cousins, my aunties. I love all of y'all. Thank you so much, Chattanooga. God bless. Hello, my name is Prince Austin, and I am your presenter for Best Hairstylist. This year, we have nine ladies and gentlemen who have made the nominee list. Each are well-deserving, and I congratulate you. Each hairstylist have set the bar for our upcoming hairstylist. Not only have they set the bar, but their creativity does not go unnoticed. And again, I congratulate all of our nine nominees. Thank you. And the nominees are... Best Hair Stylist, Cody Rose, Taylor Jones, Aaliyah Hayon, Nicole Jackson Locks by Cole, Coco Chrissy, April Moore, Londi Nicole, Erica Wright, Stephanie Sims. And the winner is... April Moore. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Thank you um, to the Chattanooga Business Elite for nominating me um, and for the best hairstylist and for selecting me as your winner. Um, I'm grateful again. Um, I'm always humbled. Um, it's always an honor um, to be able to be recognized for something that I love to do. Um, it's a blessing to be able to have a space to create um, and to give back to my wonderful clients and to this city. Um, I'm grateful to my clients um, for, for continuing to trust me year after year. This is year 18 for me. Um, and so I couldn't be more um, grateful um, and I don't take it for granted at all. Um, I'm thankful to my husband. I'm thankful to my family. Um, thank you guys so much again. Um, this has been a different year because this is virtual, but I'm just thankful that um, we're still able to celebrate um, in some capacity. Um, everybody be blessed and have a good night. Hi, I'm Jocelyn Foster and I'm here to present for Best Makeup Artist. Everyone loves that fresh beat. From eyelids to lipstick to contour and more, these makeup artists have it all. The nominees are Best M-U-A, Bria Nache Glam University, Tatiana Hernandez Freeman, Face Beats by Tatiana, Anaya Arion, Bold by Kay Janae, 
Shante Scruggs, Beauty Beats by Tay, Jakaya Jenkins, Jay Aqui Makeup. And the winner is Tatiana Hernandez, Freeman Face Beats by Tatiana. All right, y'all. Thank you. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. First of all, thank you, God, for giving me this talent and showing me how to use it, showing me the way, pulling me out of a dark place where I didn't know what I was going to be doing in my life and showing me that, here, my girl, this is what you're going to be doing. Put a brush in your hand and bam, like nine years later into the game, baby, I'm doing it. And I can... I can't imagine what else I would want to do. Like, this is it. I love makeup. Um, thank you to my family, uh, especially my wife. She gives me new ideas. Um, she doesn't let me be mediocre in anything. So, thank you, my Shanika. Thank you. Thank you. It is an honor. I mean, truly, 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 truly. Even amongst amid COVID this year, I have been working my butt off. I'm gonna try not to curse on here because it comes so easily to me. Um, I've been working my butt off, so I feel blessed. I feel blessed. Thank you. Hi, my name is Erica Denise, and I'm here to present the award for the best nail tech. Now, as you know, we always have to have our nails done, our ladies. That clink clink is what we need. So, here are the nominees for the best nail tech. Best nail tech at Mista Elock. Lockhart, Demetria Jordan, Malachi Moore, Brittany Berry, Justice Reese. And the winner is Demetria Jordan. Wow, thank you Chattanooga. Thank you so much for your love and your support. It is an honor to stand before you and accept this award. This year marks 21 years of me being a nail tech and 15 years of owning Design Nail Salon. And I could not have reached those milestones if it wasn't for you Chattanooga. You know, if 2020 didn't teach us anything, I pray that it taught us the power of collaboration and partnering with each other so that collectively we can reach our goals and our dreams. I I thank you so much, Chattanooga. Be on the lookout for my new business venture, DNS Creative Spaces, and my new devotional journal. Thank you so much, Chattanooga. I love you and be blessed. The salon is our safe haven, the place where we go to get beautiful. The stylists that put together these salons in Chattanooga are some of the best. The nominees for Best Salon are Best Salon, W Salon, Levels, Alter Ego, Kim Natural Hair Studio, Swank Salon. And the winner is Alter Ego. I'm Adrian. I'm Latoya. I'm Reality. I'm Josh. I'm Sierra. And, and we're, we're Alter Ego. Ego. We would like to thank God. We would like to thank our supporters. We would like to thank everyone that had a part in us being here. We also would like to thank the Black Excellence of Chattanooga for putting on such a show. Um, it is a privilege and an honor to be nominated for the second year in a row. And um, we just want to say that um, we don't take this lightly. Um, it is a opportunity for us to give back. And so it's just, it's, it's really surreal to be here again. And we also have um, four other uh, people in the salon for other uh, contractors that were nominated this year. So it is a awesome privilege for us to be here and to represent them as well. And some of them are not here, but we do have Josh that is uh, here with us. So we say thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the local church has been a cornerstone in the African American community for many years. Your local church has hosted many meetings for civil rights activists such as Martin Luther King and Medgar Evers, and the list goes on and on. Tonight, we are gonna pay tribute to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May I present to you the Beck Ensemble.
praise right there where you are. Come on, we believe the report of the Lord. We believe that we're more than conquerors. If you believe the word of the Lord, come on and shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, we give your name the praise. Come on, let's sing this together. Shalil. God, we bless your name on today. Shalil. God's going to work it out. You're getting ready to smile. The blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings our 2021 BEC award show to an end. We'd like to thank the BEC staff and participants. We'd also like to thank our Chattanooga Business Elite and definitely our sponsors, Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union, EPB, the Benwood Foundation, Simpa Community Care, the Enterprise Center, Chattanooga News Chronicle, and we definitely want to thank all of our nominees and recipients of their awards. We'd like to thank our scholarship participants, and we'd like to acknowledge your hard work and dedication. And we just ask you to continue to pay it forward by continuing to be great. We definitely want to thank the families of those that we have honored, Mr. Warren Logan and Mr. Chris Ramsey. We look forward to 2022, new horizons, and new challenges, but we will be here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the BEC, and this is a wrap. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs>